No, I'm happy to be here. I, w- I would like for the record to state <laughs> oh boy. that I you guys have had a lot of like big names. I'm very, I'm thrilled. You're a big name. I'm what are thrilled you talking to see, about? But you know, we're friends. Power. You yeah, know what I mean? Sure, sure. I'd like for the record that I did this podcast <laughs> when I was sure it would fail. <laughs> <laughs> that I I I'm returning now that it is a success and I'm very happy for you. But I remember getting the email and being like all right, I'll, I, those are funny guys. This, I'll do it for them. It was early too. Yeah, it, it was, was early. It was solid early. pandemic. It was, it was, it was like in the middle couple, of the pandemic. A couple of months into the pod. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, this is good. There, one last attempt, and then, <laughs> and then maybe if I'm at Helium, they can feature for me. You know, that's kind of how I approached it, and I'm very happy to see you guys thriving. And I love uh, it. It hurts because it's it. true, yeah. man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> It hurts because it's true, dude. Well, I can say that's the, oh. the fact that you know the truth. Of course, means, means things are going on the well. Other side of it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've made it through the tunnel. We're on the other side. Al Jackson had this joke that I fucking loved. I, I didn't, wasn't even a joke. We were we were doing a podcast once, yeah. and he was like, "Yeah, man, I want to do I want to do white people shit." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" He goes, "As a black man, you're only allowed to do three things. Yeah, go to the club." Go to the court, hang out with your buddies. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. goes, I want to go paddle boarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I would fucking pay to watch. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so, but I mean, you know, but no fish- network would ever fucking green light it. Yeah. I mean, it dep- you, yeah, you couldn't brand it like black guys doing white guy stuff. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's like you'd have to, you'd have to massage it a little bit. But I mean, I do think that is cool because it's like just fish out of water in general is one of the cool, like most entertaining yeah. tropes in history you know it's like going somewhere being somewhere different being somewhere a little uncomfortable or just like experiencing stuff for the first time you're always going to get hilarious i mean because comedy is so about contrasts right yeah. and it's like that's such a just a, a harsh divide you know what i mean like i mean my first bar mitzvah was awesome i was like whoa what the fuck is going on here yeah i was like these motherfuckers are going all out <laughs> you know and oh, I, was yeah. like, I literally was like ma can i get a bar mitzvah these fucking guys <laughs> brought in like five grand they had a fucking carving station it was fucking awesome dude bar mitzvahs I remember going to bar mitzvahs when I was a kid, and I was like, I wanted to be Jewish. Yeah. So I was like, those kids <laughs> pull in loot. They're fucking walking it's out genius. with fucking thirty five grand. Yeah, Greek people don't have any of that shit. We don't have like a we don't have like a confirmation. Our, but our guys, baptism is when we're like babies. I've told, I've talked to you about this, but you got the thing where you throw the thing in the water and you got to catch it, right? That's just, that's just a that's a like Easter tradition for some people. Yeah, but it's not like a big because yeah because yeah you're Florida. That's they do it at Tarpon Springs. Yeah, Greek, yeah, the Greek community. But no, we don't have like a. Like, it's so genius when a culture just puts in a money-making thing for your, like, teen kid. I guess graduation is the closest thing where I kind of caked up for graduation. When everyone thought I was going to have a real career. When I was like, when everyone, <laughs> when everyone was like, wow, Stav's going to make us proud. He's going to go to law school. It's like, turns out I'm going to talk about my penis for a living. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to detail all my sexual disappointments and embarrassments. And I'm going to close... The biggest thing I ever did, like that's the other thing, dude. So I just released this special. Uh, it came out. It's it's out now on YouTube. Go watch it. But I, I was, can't wait to watch that, dude. Thank you so. Yeah, it's, you're one of the funniest fucking dudes. I appreciate that. Consistently man. one so of the much. funniest dudes. Thanks, man. I, and it's I you I what's the name of the special? It's called Live at the Lodge Room. I did it here in Highland Park at this old uh like this old like Masonic lodge. So it feels so awesome. Can you pull it up. It's up yeah, right it's, now. It's up right now. But I was watching it. I did like a live chat and i did like a premiere because i wanted to feel like an event because the reality is it's like this special is as good as anything on netflix and i paid enough money so that it looks good and it like it feels like a real thing right so i wanted it to feel like a premiere so and i had watched it a bunch when we were editing it but you know i'm working on a new hour so all that material kind of left my brain i watched it like because i was in the chat i was playing and i was like I was like, wow, my mother is watching this right now. And my my closer is a 15-minute bit about a horrific threesome I had. And I'm talking about it in detail. And I'm like, my fuck, my my mom came to America. My parents came to America. And they're like, we're gonna give our son a better life. And it's like the most notable thing I've ever done in my career is closes on a story about not being able to get hard when I tried to fuck two strangers and then coming back later with so many illegal dick pills, I thought I was going to die while I fucked them. And my, and then I get a text from my mom that's like, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like thanks, mom. I hope, you, I hope you didn't watch too closely. <laughs> we, we, we had a clip on our show once. Uh, the question I asked was, um, what was it? It was like, who who, who do you think would do better with the opposite sexes 
body parts, mm. basically like chicks with dicks or guys with oh, pussies. True, true, the true. way I posed it, I don't know how it was, but I was a- I was asking him like men or women, and he answered Timothy Chalamet. It was his answer, <laughs> and I was like, that's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So ever since then, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's a classic hypothetical. The it's the. It's the like Bailey J versus Buck Angel hypothetical. Is that what you're talking about? No, a woman with a, a woman with a it, dick, it, it, it a hot woman with like a dick, that. yeah, or it, a guy it, with a pussy. Right, that's uh, hot. A thousand times out of a thousand, girl with a penis. It's not yeah. even no, no, no. A, the, like uh, you know, no, like the penis is the least objectionable yeah. part. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want stubble. I don't no, want to smell right, like right. a guy. Dude, Dude, that's no. about a guy. A dick, I can, I can deal a with a dick. Yeah, I, 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 I said before, like, would you rather kiss a guy with a beard? I would rather suck, suck a guy's dick, dick before, before I kiss like, a guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. If I'm kissing you right now, absolutely not. I'll blow you right before I do that. I will say, I grew up in a. I'm Greek, so I'm used to kissing. Double cheek, <laughs> so it's like I'm I'm good with that. I think I would probably, but like but a like deep, now, a prolonged the, makeout, a oh, passionate makeout, so passionate. mustache. It was like I think yeah. I think in Hall, but I think in the movie it's like. Would you rather kiss a guy for fifteen seconds or like suck his dick for two or oh, something like that? I see, I see. And and yeah. if it's with the stubble and the feeling and all, I'm that, with you. I'm, no way. But I then mean, again, to go back to that, know, I've had a popsicle before. Let me go <laughs> back to that little. Yeah, of course, that little blonde guy from that show. I would kiss him for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I would, you know, I don't care. You know what I mean? But he's got to read. He's got, and you know, I think that's also the thing of like we're in an age where it's like we are. We're understanding gender is fucking bullshit, and mm-hmm. it is kind of like a people are just kind of like. Somewhere on a spectrum, yeah, just, just, you know whatever what I mean. Your dick gets hard for. Whatever and it's like, gets and so for. I think I'm like, uh, you know, a guy that's closer to the, you know, to the other end of the spectrum. He's just kind of like, you know, on his on his they them shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, right. like, like, I do could, your thing, man. You know, whatever. I mean, on like, like they the, shit. Like, you know if, what I mean? That's if, fine. If I found <laughs> out that you, I think we're yeah, we're if, all figuring out. There's you know, different m- stuff we making can fuck. out. If, if you were making out with that dude, yeah, you're making out with that guy for hours, like you said. Sure, sure. That's way gayer than if you fucked him. Oh, easily. Like if you were just like, I fucked that guy. Like, oh well, you know, the hole's a hole. You kissed him for you know a few hours. You're a gay guy. He was great. He was cool. I want out there listening. He's like, wait a minute. That was me. <laughs> trying to figure out what the, where the show was. It was in Brooklyn <laughs> at the Faulkner. <laughs> that was the bar. <laughs> this is like four years ago. If, if you're out there and you've kept it tight, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This has to be the first podcast in history where all three people on it came out in the first podcast. <laughs> yeah, podcast. yeah, yeah. We're all, we're, all some, we're all at least heteroflexible. Well, I, 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 <laughs> minimum. And possibly bi. <laughs> you know what I mean? If not I fucking bi. Yeah, month, yeah, everyone. Yeah, listen, guys, unshackle yourselves from Barstool and go suck some cock. All right? It's time. It's time, fellas. That's why we've got to right. protect people from attacking uh, Chris Chris Rock. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah if like, anybody oh. slaps you, I will fucking choke them that out. That was yeah. the best when comedians were like, this was an attack on freedom of speech. And it's like, come on, man. It's what we tell yeah. pussy jokes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no one gives a fuck. Well, we had Judd Apatow in the next day. Oh, And he hilarious. was like, he was number one on like, this is assault. Dude, that's so fucking funny. It's, that's, first of all, Chris Rock and Will Smith, the comedians that were posting about it, it's like, you have nothing in common with Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, you are not, you are only tech, the way like some guy says he's a podcaster, yeah. some guy off the street has like 30 followers, says he's, the way you and that guy have something in common with podcasting, that's the way most people posting about Chris Rock had, you know what I mean? Like they're only stand-ups in name only. Right. This is a fucking million, two of the most famous guys of all time slapped each other. It was hilarious. Right. It was really <laughs> fucking funny that somebody got slapped at the Oscars. Yeah. Some guy who's been publicly cut, who's, the most the most beloved man in the world was cucked so hard his brain melted 30 minutes before he was going to win his oscar yeah. like it, it was incredibly incredible timing will smith has been the most like scientologist manicured like yes. public persona Jada got so much dick on the side that it fucking <laughs> melted his brain and he slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. Mo- I mean, he was just going to win his Oscar. Yeah. It was, if that's not fucking funny to you, then what's the, that's hysterical. Yeah, like the oh. biggest superstar act, one of the biggest superstar actors slapped the biggest superstar yeah. comic yeah. of the last 25 years <laughs> because he made a joke about his wife that he only cared about the joke because he looked over at his wife and he was like, Oh, she's mad. She's probably gonna fuck somebody else yeah, yeah, unless yeah, I slap yeah. Chris Rock for this. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very funny situation. Hysterical. And it's, but now people are like, you know, we're great truth tellers out there, and 
Like, I, yeah. it could be me next. It could, yeah, stage. exactly. Oh, really? It's you next at fucking Magooby's Joke House, <laughs> in, which is my home club. I love it. In Timonium, Maryland. No one is slapping you because you're like, what the f- my, I don't get, my wife doesn't suck my dick enough. <laughs> it's like, no one is about to slap you, you fucking loser. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And thank yeah. you for having me here. This fucking rocks. Thank you, bro. Before we get into, I just want to say, I, this is fucking insane that this is a podcast. <laughs> this is fucking rock. I feel like I'm about to be offered a million dollars for you to fuck my wife. <laughs> this feels like a layer. <laughs> would, you, would you take the million though? Would I take the mill? Yeah. Probably not, honestly. On, I don't, I'm sorry, dude. I'm, I'm too much of a villager still. First generation Greek immigrant. I don't want anybody Nobody gets to wife. fuck your wife? I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> you know? I actually you know? have a wife though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that, was yeah, more, yeah. that was the royal yeah. wife. Yeah. Like the yeah. Yeah. Anyone, anyone's wife. You know, that's philosophically, I'll fuck somebody's wife, but yeah. I don't want my wife I'm fucked. Fucking everybody. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I will. I have fucked a couple people's wives. It's pretty nice. But have you really? Poly people, though, like polyamorous people. They Fox. bring you in. Oh, so Polynesians? Yeah, poly- that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, awesome. I, I, like the big ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucked the, the Rock's cousins. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, you have yeah, the like, Samoan vibe a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I actually. do. Yeah, no, I love their vibe, absolutely. Okay, okay. They ask you. Are you, is there like a little bit where you're kind of uh, insulted? Poly oh, means there are people, yeah, they're, I think they're, you know where I'm going I know with this. where you're going. You know, that's funny. There was Explain a poly real quick. So poly is like an open relationship. It's like, you know, yeah. polyamorous is yeah, basically yeah, yeah. what it means, you know? Yeah. There is a little bit of that. There was one, okay, so there was a girl that I, the first time anybody, anytime I fucked anybody's girlfriend, wife, yeah. whatever, yeah. and I'm the right guy to do it because it's like, it's fun. You know what I mean? I'm a good time. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to, I don't, I'm not going to fucking ruin your wedding. I'm not yeah, showing yeah. up at the wedding. I'm not protesting. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Stop. Yeah. What about what we had? It's yeah, like, yeah. no, dude, thank you for showing me your titties. I'm yeah. really happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put me on giggling. the registry. I'll buy you a fucking blender. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm the guy to cheat with. But, um, but yeah, so the first time, actually, there was a girl who, uh, so I was chatting with her online, and it was going really good, and it's like, you know, this very early, I wasn't really popping even. She was just like, something was, she just like, you know, that I like. She just kind of found me. She liked you for you. She liked me for me. Yeah. It felt, it was like a, before the view. It was a si- it was a simpler, <laughs> more innocent time. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. somebody with a probably somebody with a charismatic fat father. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's probably what it was. But she was like, "Hey, I got to be honest. We were chatting for a while. You know, sending nudes, the whole thing. And then she's like, look, I got to be honest. I have a I have a boyfriend. But don't worry, I'm going to ask him for an open relationship. And then two weeks later, she was like, okay. So I asked him. He said no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I asked him if I could fuck you specifically. And he was like, cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was devastating. It's like, it's like, this guy's like, hey, babe, like, I'm sorry, we can't open it up. I just, I love you too much. I don't want to lose you. And then yeah, she, she showed him a picture of me, and he was yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, you can fuck that guy. Yeah. We're gonna, we'll be fine. We'll bounce back from that fucking because guy. Because that's where it's kind of insulting. It's yeah, like, yeah. wait, are you saying I can't take your wife? Yeah, yeah. But you know, certainly if I was thinking that way, but I just look at it more as like, Hey, thanks for the pussy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, thanks. And the man is the girl. Like, it's more like, instead of seeing it as somebody fucking your wife when you don't have one, it's just like, you just have friends that let you suck on their titties. And that yeah. is a, the, plato- the platonic ideal of friendship, if yeah. you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't make that much money, and my friend was a paralegal. And he was like, yeah, it pays this much. I don't remember what it was, but at the time, it was like, you know, more money than I'd ever made. And I was like, fuck it, I can do that. Um... But it was like, it was basically a foreclosure mill where it was like, and none of the, it was never, they weren't doing any Maryland law. It was this weird scam where they got lawyers who were barred in Florida, which apparently is like the easiest, like just the fucking dumbest lawyers who can't get barred anywhere else. That sounds right. Get right, barred right, in Florida. <laughs> and so all these guys, all these guys lived in Maryland, but were barred in Florida and were just doing foreclosure law firm law. And it was like, and it was during the, during the aftermath of the housing crisis, and I was like, I don't want to be a part of this. This is fucking bullshit. Like, I'm not, I was like, I'm not going to fucking just like help banks take yeah. homes from people that were like tricked into getting these loans. So I was like, I'm just going to work for like, I was like, I, I worked for, I was getting trained. And when it all, when I figured out this was the only law these people did, and the whole thing was a scam to employ the dumbest lawyers. That, I mean, there were some cool guys there, but most of them were fucking you know, mongoloids over there. You know what I mean? They were just like, like, and that was important for me because I went there and I was like, oh, lawyers are fucking idiots too. Yeah. Like I was like, cause you know, you grow up and you're, it's like a esteemed position, lawyers, doctors, all this. It's just like, yeah, just like everything else, half of those people 
are fucking morons. That's what they say. You know what they call the guy who finished last in medical school? Doctor. Yeah, 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 exactly. The, du- doctor the dumbest too. doctor is a doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, you know, there's plenty of smarter people than them. So I just kind of checked out. I was like, oh, I'm not going to do shit. And this place was so like weirdly run and like poorly managed that they didn't really like notice for like seven months. So that I was were, just- That you weren't- <laughs> I, I, got, I got hired in like- I got hired in like August and and I did work for like, you know, a month until I kind of figured out the lay of the land. And then I was like, I don't want to be a part of this. And I just was like, all right, well, I'll, I might get a paycheck or two out of it by the time they put it together. But then it went through like the holidays. And once you get to Thanksgiving, no one fucking, no one's going to do anything from Thanksgiving to yeah. December, right? Then I got to fuck it. Then it's like, all right, I'm looking around. I'm like, all right, it's January. The fuck? They didn't fire me till March of that year. So I was just in there. My boss would walk by. I would like touch my computer to like make it look like it was, but it wasn't even logged in. Like the screensaver, the screensaver would pop off and it would be like, log, you know, start your day or whatever. And I just would take two hour lunches. I would just, I wasn't doing shit. And it, that was the best job I've ever had. Cause I was like, I was like, Hey, I'm fucking, I'm Robin Hood over here. I'm stealing time from this law yeah, firm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm obstructing, <laughs> I'm obstructing these, uh, you know, fucked up housing seizures. And I'm, um, and I was just writing all day. I was just, I was get that was one of the times I got the best at comedy because I would wake up. I'd have to be in physically be in at work. So I'd start my day at like 8 a.m. Get up. I was writing all day, you know, what I mean? yeah. like I was writing comedy. I was like, I was like on Facebook, like networking, messaging people back when Facebook was the social media everyone used. I was like fucking just, it was great. Twitter, I was back in the day. This is how fucking long ago it was. I was tweeting from my, you, I would text my tweets to a number. I don't think I had a smart, I didn't get a smartphone until late. And it was just like, it was great, man. It was like a fucking an incredible time in my life where I was just like stealing money from this horrible law firm. And by which, by the way, uh, the owner of just, they sued them for unlawful practices and the guy killed himself. He Holy just shot, shit. He just nah. shot himself in the office. He just, yeah. Not in the, <laughs> in the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend got fired. Well, I ain't get my security yeah. bother back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, dude, my friend got fired because a, a female boss sexually harassed him no. and he was, and he called it out and, and they just fired him. Like, they were just, an, there was a, there was a law, there was a, there was a lawyer who would just, who would like the hot secretary She'd be like, "Hey, I'll fucking, I'll fucking uh, put your case to the top of the line if you show me your pussy." <laughs> it's just like, like this is just the most dirt back in Rosedale, yeah. actually, in the place of your family's dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Dream home, man. <laughs> it was just the most fucked off up. Off of Philadelphia yeah. Road. Oh, yeah. Off, Route 7. Uh, over off, over uh, there over. off Philadelphia. Literally on Philadelphia Road. Not even kidding with you. Uh, <laughs> it was a shitty, and it was just the most unlawful, shitty fucking law firm. <laughs> People were fucked. Like, it was just, they employed the most trash. I'll put your case to the top if you show me your pussy. And, and there's these fucking disgusting white trash girls are like, okay. okay yeah, yeah. Christ. People were fucking in the parking oh, lots God. and shit. It was just like fucking trashy, dude. Yeah, dude. I just cracked them and I just, I was in denial. I cracked the tooth and it was still on. But it was like loose. And I was like, I'm fine. I'll bounce back. And for like three days, I was just like chewing everything with like the left side of my mouth. I I mean, dude, I literally finished those wings. Like I was like, I was at I was at wing three of a 12 wing order. You think I'm fucking letting those go? Absolutely not. Um, so oh my I, ate God. The fu- I did a lot of I did a lot of lubing them up. I was like Joey Chestnut, you know, <laughs> dipping the shit. I was dipping every bite in like blue cheese and just stuffing it down my gullet. <laughs> but um I was in denial and then I just fucking I went to I went to Jersey because I had a friend whose whose uncle was a dentist and he was like, Oh yeah, this this is a fuck your tooth is fucked. I was like, What? I was like, Can you like do it? He's like, No, it's it's gotta come out. I was like, dude, it hurt. I can't even he's like, All right, well, if you want, we could just take it out. And I was like, I was like, All right, because I'm assuming like I've s i have I know oh, people get dental implants all the time they'll take yeah. it out and i'll come back tomorrow they'll give me a tooth yeah. and then he's like oh no it's gonna be uh, a year-long process <laughs> and i was like what and i just thought it was only gonna be like seven i thought it was gonna be a week and then be- and then i just because of the pandemic and all this timing stuff it ended up being like literally two and a half years just with no tooth 
God. But honestly, I loved it. I was fucking used to it. I had it's so funny. I think about it. I had a good relationship in that time. I got a lot of pussy, but when we before and after with no tooth, <laughs> the most pussy I ever got in my life was without a tooth. Like I'm fa- I think I've I think this this the my the gum above that tooth has touched more pussies than my tooth ever did. <laughs> My friend, you know, my friend did recently who's like, he won't stop talking about it. He's like, he's a little bit of a strange guy, but he's not like, like, like I, I, I'm, I'm shocked at how serious he's not like some totally out there weirdo. Yeah. He went to Hawaii and he fucking did like frog venom, like toad venom with like a shamanist. Oh, right, right, right. And he, he's like, he's like, I want my mother to do this. He's like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Therapy. He was like, I, yeah, he was like, I felt like at peace. I felt like. He was like, I felt like I died and I wasn't even mad. He was like, I can't. Wait. He's like, I'm not even scared of death. That's what he said. That's what a lot of people did. have said after ayahuasca. A lot of people have said to me they do ayahuasca and they're like, I don't feel like I'm scared of dying anymore. Yeah, which is so that's fucking wild. wild. Which is like, you understand that is, that's tricking your brain. Yeah, like that exists. Like that's thing. That thing exists. Like any like a that frog's poison exists to make you feel fucked up until the the frog can go away because you were thinking about eating it. Right. Like it's supposed to completely fry a fucking like a wolf's brain or whatever. And it's like, it's a trick. It's not real. You know what I mean? It stays with us. It's like, yeah, it's like people that think that's a real breakthrough or people that think strippers are in love with them. You know what I mean? It's like, the drug is just at work. The drug is doing its job. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not a fucking real thing that exists. Those guys always go back thinking that a new stripper falls in love with them in a new place. (laughs) They go back and lick the frog again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in for both. I know, I am too, actually. I've been, I've, I've all but stopped going to strip clubs just because like it's always with a group of friends. Yeah. You know, and it's always like a, oh, we should go. And you, oh, yeah. And then you do it and you're always kind of let down in the weird way. Of course. And you're like, does this even, am I, do I, do, have I ever even liked this? Yeah. yeah no, not at all. Do you it's know what one, I mean? It's one of the most like, we have to pretend to enjoy this. Like, I guess. I'm, Otherwise you're gay, bro. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's like, cause when I, when like life was bad, I didn't have any money. Yeah. And I wasn't getting any pussy. So I'm spending money to almost like to to not get pussy to stuff. not get pussy. It's like yeah. yeah, it's like if I went to a restaurant, like the most expensive restaurant, you chewed the steak and they made you spit it out. Before, you know, you just got one <laughs> chew and they're like, "Come on, give it up. You don't get the fucking." But, but do I? Have, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah. come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what if I pay extra? They're like, "All right, two chews, but that's it." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put it halfway down your throat, then you got to spit it out. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then we're putting our up. fucking fingers down your throat and getting it out the hard way. That is what it always felt like. It always felt desperate and sad and weird, and I never really liked it. I never did. It was always, even when I went with someone who was like a baller, yeah, if I yeah, went with yeah. a dude that spent a bunch of money, because I never did. I never liked spending money there. I was always like, this is, I'm not giving this person money for no reason. Even if I went with someone with a lot of money, it's fun for genuinely five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's if like you gambling. if you could go for five minutes and leave, I would do. If yeah, that was yeah, it, yeah, 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 you yeah. checked in, you threw money, you're like, ah, ah, chug yeah. a drink and walked out. Perfect experience. Yeah. I think I would. I think I'm almost at the point in my life where it's like, when because it's that those needs are taken care of. Where it's like I get the fuck, I have enough money. Yeah. Where it's like I could see maybe now hitting some kind of zen level with it. Where it's like the money's gone. I'm not getting pussy. I'm just in the moment on some like. The money doesn't matter to me. Right. The fact that I'm these women are leading me on is not, you know, or that I'm not going to fuck them is not going to ruin the next three days of my right, life. Right. Like now that that's taken care of, I could maybe see going up and just if I have something to celebrate, just spending thousands of dollars. You know, what I mean? like really? I could I could see that level, but that's yeah. the only way I think I ever want to return to one. Well, I think you know? I think you see these guys at some point, you know, like especially professional athletes. They get so rich that they start to gamble such high amounts because yeah. there's no payoff anymore. Right. Right, like if they win they ten grand, something. it doesn't do anything. Yeah, they need a better half million dollars. But that's the deal. I think they like losing it. Yeah, of course. I think yeah. winning for those guys is mediocre. Yeah, I think they like to lose like eighty grand because that never because they the don't get real. that feeling. Yeah, yeah, they just have to feel something. Yes, you know that's why like pushing when you're playing blackjack or any cards or whatever, a push is the worst. Yeah, because you feel nothing. Yeah, like, it'll make me lose. Yeah, make at least me, take my fucking money. Yeah. Make me feel like yeah. shit. Spit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> Call me a fucking slut. You know what I mean? It's like that's the That'd equivalent. Be a good casino. Yeah. Every time you lose. <laughs> Poof. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Take your money away, you fucking little slut. Yeah. You little yeah. bitch. It'd become, a, it'd become a BDSM thing. Absolutely. Tie you up and hit you. Instead that, of the girl that comes around with like drinks and cigarettes, she's like, You want to be whipped? You're like, Yeah, hit the fuck yeah, out of yeah, me yeah, yeah, while yeah. I lose this hand. I'm, Why are you hitting on 19? Just let me fucking Just do it. Tell me my dad's not proud of me. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. That would be a great casino. By the way, that would make so much fucking so money. So much money. Nobody wins. Caters to subs only. Like, yeah. you're there. It's like the casino <laughs> wins on the hand, or they, you win at the fucking tipping the fucking girls in leather. Who's beating the shit just out of you. Just beating the fucking... Yeah. That would be so fucking funny if you, yeah. like, go into LA Fitness and there's just some, like... Absolutely. Li- like, a hundred and, you know, a hundred pound woman getting worked out by, like, a 450 guy. A guy in a rascal scooter, his <laughs> fucking... One of his feet are missing. <laughs> With an oxygen <laughs> yeah, tank. Yeah. <laughs> Good, job. Good job, sweet. Another round. <laughs> I, I like the idea of having, a, like, a realistic trainer, though. It's like, if you, just spend two weeks with me and you'll be able to get it up if you take a vial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, yeah, you, yeah, you'll yeah, be able yeah. to eat a Full meal of chicken wings and not throw up before you leave the table. Absolutely, yeah. the diarrhea will will wait eight hours. It won't be instant. That was another yeah. thing that was going on with me. Things I were eating were just coming out of my ass in twenty five minutes. I mean, yeah, you like, you're, <laughs> like free fall. You yeah, should. Yeah, you yeah, texted yeah. me. You're like, I'm t- I'm running ten minutes late. I had a very unfortunate timing with the shit right <laughs> yeah. before I had to leave. And I was like. Yeah, that's a that's a, actually a normal excuse. Like, I didn't need all that information. Yeah. Could have been like, "Hey, ten minutes late." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, dude, I tried to have so I tried to chef up a little like a uh, homemade uh, bimbap, like the fucking Korean shit. I made a little Korean. I uh, made like a little rice bowl for breakfast, and I was shitting it out within <laughs> within seven minutes. Actually, in this case, I don't know what the fuck's going on with I, me. I, I don't. I haven't. I can't compete with some of the tragedies that people have turned around like funny here. You know what I mean? But I did have a horrible time la- a couple years ago. Um, I was at. I suffered a foot injury. I tore my plantar fascia in the most embarrassing way. It was at the Skanks Fest basketball tournament. <laughs> what did you do? It was <laughs> nothing. You I was and playing. Sabora. You and no, Sabora yeah, it was never literally be on a court. dude. It was like yeah. It was like it wasn't his level of like how hilarious. The re- like how severe and hilarious the fall yeah. was, but it was like I was just playing. Ba- I was playing basketball against like fuck it. It was literally Steve Ranazizi and Ari Shafir, not exactly athletic titans. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. like. It's like- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't keep those, keeping up with those guys. I was like, fucking, I just, I was just playing a game of basketball, and I just hear a fucking on my foot. That's it. Heard a pop, and I was like, oh, that feels weird. But I was still kind of had like the adrenaline. Where do you feel it? Bottom of my foot, like center, kind of center. Yeah. But I still had that adrenaline, and it just kind of felt like maybe I like. You know, I used to, I played a lot of sports growing up. So I was like, oh, maybe I pulled some weird muscle on the bottom of my foot. Kind of like a, when you pull a hamstring, it's like when it first happens, you can still kind of like go because it's still warm. And then I just figured like, ah, I'll be fucked up. Like I might have to go home and ice it. I was still thinking like, I'm going to go home, ice it. I'll be back for the shows that night. Right. I was also going to meet up with this girl. I was stoked. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I was like, oh, I have a great night ahead of me. I get, I get home and once the like adrenaline wears off, excruciating pain i'm like whoa this is fucking weird ice my shit up i don't have insurance at the time so i'm just like i'm not gonna go to the fucking hospital so i just make a i'm just like all right i'll make an appointment with a podiatrist this guy's like yeah you fucking and i have to go to some weird as no insurance i have to go to some like just a guy who had an mri machine in his basement (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) He's, yeah. like, he's like, you might want to hit this guy up. He does MRIs for two fifty. I'm like, say no more, brother. <laughs> so just, in his basement. <laughs> it was like some fucking weird medical office, and I'm like, oh cool. And then you just go to a basement. It's like just a guy, and I'm like, oh, this is not affiliated with these doctors, is it? And it was just like, but anyway, I go get a fucking bottom of the barrel MRI. Uh, they're like, yeah, this shit is complete. I, you just, it's so the the plantar fascia is like the bottom of your foot, it's kind of like, it connects the back and the front. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a band that connects them. And I just snap that Damn. shit. And there's really no, Does nothing. it make your foot like just drop or anything? Or is it just painful? As- it, it was just really fucking painful. And I you just can't had to- put any weight on I it? I couldn't or- put any weight on it. And, uh, you know, I live on the, on the, on the third floor of a walk up. There's no, you know, there's no like, is there's no easy way to get up and down. And the guy was just like, your best bet might be just like, you know, four to six weeks of complete rest. Just stay up on it. Don't do shit and come out of it. Like, and then you will put a walking boot on all this shit. But like, I mean, you know how crazy we all went during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you have a pandemic and the whole world just keeps going. So it's like there's none of the freeing of like, well, I'm not accomplishing anything, but everyone else, neither is anyone else. This was like, I fucking, I have to be in my house and shit is just starting to go right for me, right? I've I've started headlining, you know what I mean? 
I had a big tour coming up um, and I was booking it and I was like, fuck, am I going to even be able to go on this tour? And dude, I just fully lost my mind. I was so bored. I was so sad. I was so depressed. I had this relationship that was on again, off again. And I was like, one day I was like, let's fucking, let's do it. Let's make, this will really fucking. And then the next day I had like a panic attack. I was like, uh, uh, we can't talk. I'm sorry. Don't speak to me. You know what I mean? I was just like, I'm ruining relationships. I'm fucking, I'm taking so much. I'm getting so bored. I'm taking like, I did a quarter of mushrooms in my home, on my couch, just losing my mind. <laughs> Oh, just man. fully oh, like I, I'm trying to watch Thor Ragnarok. I'm like, all I, I just I watched Thor Ragnarok one night on edibles the first night. And I was like, this movie rocks. And I was like, let me watch it on fucking acid. Or, or first I watched it on mushrooms, then I watched it on acid. I'm just laying there. I'm ha I'm experiencing. Is it three different movies, dude? It that was it an insane experience where it's like <laughs> it wasn't good like it was yeah. not, but it wasn't a bad trip it was just like it was just like i was on a roller coaster that i was not ready for where i was just like i'm imagining myself as a two-dimensional like cartoon I'm like ding, ding. there's no it's all everything's in black and white i was like what the, i'm like feeling like i'm you know just on some weird just like i'm i don't even know how to experience i explain it i was just like I'm I'm hanging on for dear life and it's like I'm aware that I'm in my living room <laughs> and there's a movie but it's like that is not that is not what's important to me at the time and I was just like I got fat as shit yeah I just don't do good without like and it was just horrible dude it was just like I can't I just I just like I went and then so I'm cooped up for six weeks I'm fucking losing my mind. I've alienated like a girl that I would go on. We would go on. We would like patch things up and go on the date. But I did a lot of fucking damage in that time that just ne our relationship never recovered from, I don't think. And uh, and then I'm like, I go right into a tour and it's just like, I got a walking boot on. I'm, I'm like, I'm out, baby. I'm getting fucked up every single fucking night. I'm eating like. Complete though. I get so fucking, f I get fat as hell. I'm just like the, I'm, I'm, my penis will not, I have to take so many dick pills that like <laughs> my head is a balloon. You know what I mean? Like the, like you could just like, if you pressed on my eyeballs, like fucking, <laughs> like fucking air would come out through my nose and ears. You know what I mean? Like just to get my dick even to 70%. 70. And I'm just with a walking boot on getting sucked off by some girl in a hotel. <laughs> Just like, this rocks. You know what I mean? Drunk as shit. Off a of bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> Just, I mean, oh my God. It was such a fucking horrible time. 